What is up everyone, Game Dad here, and we are back with another Video Games Monthly unboxing. Now, if you've never heard of Video Games Monthly, they are a monthly subscription service where you can get either three, four, five, or 10 games depending on which one you choose, and they will send you curated items based on the selections that you make for what kind of platforms you want. Now, I typically do the 4-Up pack, but since the items that I have selected for consoles that I want to get for, it's getting kind of slim because I have a lot of them for those platforms. What they have been doing is actually sending me, sometimes it'll be less games, sometimes it'll be more games. That way I can get the value of that 4-Up pack. So let's go ahead and dive in, see what we have in today's box, show you a little gameplay and give you my thoughts. Let's open her up. First up here, we have the social media card. Now what this says is, if you go online and you share your unboxing experience, you are automatically entered in for a monthly raffle to win a three up box for free. So that is pretty awesome. Now it looks like right here, uh, we have a Luigi sticker sheet. My kids will have fun fighting over that. And now we have some games. First up here, right on top, we have a Game Boy Color game. And this one is Mickey's Racing Adventure. So it's Mickey's Racing Adventure on the Game Boy Color. Let's go check it out. All right, now I love me some Mickey video game action, and this is Mickey's Racing Adventure. And I gotta say, I don't super love this one. I mean, it's okay, all right, but as you can see, the game is slow. I mean, I get it, it's for little kids, and this is probably a great pace for a little kid. All right, me being the grown adult human that is playing this child's game, uh, it's a bit slow for me, but it definitely gives me RC Pro-Am vibes, and I love RC Pro-Am. But, I mean, overall, it's just a nice, simple racing game on the Game Boy Color, and, I mean, it, it's cool to have it in the collection. I, I really like the Disney Mickey pro uh, like game properties and stuff like that, but overall, it's, it's a very mediocre game when you really boil it down to, like, ranking every part of it, but... It's not bad. Graphically, it's what you would expect for the Game Boy Color. And gameplay-wise, if you like RC Pro-Am, you would like a game like this. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all i got to say about this one. Now, next up in the box is a very green-looking case, but it is a GameCube game. And this one right here is Jeremy McGrath Supercross World uh, on the GameCube. Let's take a look. Yep, it is complete everything. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at some footage and talk about Jeremy McGrath. Supercross World. So up first here we have Jeremy McGrath Supercross World. And this game is pretty good. I mean, graphically, it's what you would expect from the GameCube. Uh, functionally, the way it plays, it really does not play bad. It's not super hard to control or anything like that. For me, the courses are a little lackluster. I mean, I feel like something like Excitebyte 64 had more exciting courses than this game, but it's okay. Um, overall, I mean, the game is pretty fun. It's just, it, it doesn't have everything I would be looking for in a game like this. And it doesn't have a lot of jumps. It doesn't have a lot of stuff going on around it. And it's just okay. It's definitely not the best, like, motocross game I've ever played. It's definitely not the worst. But overall, it's just, it's fun. And th that's about it. it. It's a fun game, I guess. And up next here, we have one. It's a player's choice for GameCube, but this is Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2. Pac-Man World games are actually like low-key a, a lot of fun. Uh, so that's cool. I did not have this on GameCube yet. I haven't had any of these other games yet, um, but that's awesome. It's got a little bit of plastic tearing on the case right here, but it looks like the actual artwork is fine. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, that's neat. It's actually two different discs. I thought it would be on one disc. That's cool, I haven't seen a case like that. And is it two manuals as well? Uh, it is one manual. So I don't know if this normally came with two. Probably not. You don't need one for Pac-Man Versus, I would assume. But Pac-Man World 2 and Pac-Man Versus on the GameCube. Let's take a look. Now, here we have the combo pack of Pac-Man Versus, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now. And then we've also got Pac-Man World 2. And in Pac-Man Versus, as you can see, it is a versus game. And I mean, it, it's cool, it's multiplayer Pac-Man. Think Pac-Man 99 on the Switch, but way older and not as good and no online or anything like that. Yeah, it, it's okay. 
Um, but Pac-Man World 2, now that's where it's at. In Pac-Man World 2, you get an open world adventure. And honestly, the Pac-Man World games are super fun. As you can see, the graphics look great. They're very cartoony, which is what you would expect from something like this. And I just, I actually had a lot of fun with this. It's very, you know, Mario 64 3D action platformer-esque. And it's just fun. I mean, it's definitely Pac-Man in a new light. You're still going around getting your collectibles. You still have, you know, baddies that you got to face, all that kind of stuff. But overall, I mean, it's just a new take on a Pac-Man game. Obviously, this is the second one in this franchise, but... I mean, the first one is a lot of fun too, but this one is awesome. If you've never played a Pac-Man World game, I definitely recommend it. Even on the Wii U, they have Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. That one's not bad, but I think I like these Pac-Man World games even better. All right, now, last up is a game that I remember watching the cartoon for this, and you'll have to let me know down in the comments below if you watched this cartoon. And also, while you're down there, you know, if you feel like I've earned it, then uh, hit those like and subscribe buttons and that notification bell. That way you're gonna alert every time I got a new video coming out. But that game is Nickelodeon's Rocket Power Beach Bandits. I used to love watching Rocket Power. That was a, it was a really fun cartoon. And to this day, if I see anyone wearing sandals with socks, they are absolutely a shooby. Uh, because don't wear socks with sandals, it's weird. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at uh, Nickelodeon's Rocket Power Beach Bandits. And last up here, we have Nickelodeon's Rocket Power Beach Bandits. And think Tony Hawk, but corny as hell. I mean, this game, I don't know if they were trying to do like a cell shaded cartoony, like Wind Waker kind of look and just failed. Um, but I really, I don't care for the look for it. Uh, it's very, like, cartoon meets Uncanny Valley. They really tried to make it look like the characters, but it did not translate well from animated to 3D animated, in my opinion. The overall gameplay is not bad, but it's definitely not great. It definitely leaves something to be desired. But, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's like a sports game. They... They combined a little bit of everything into a game and weren't very good at any of it as a result. If they were to stick with just one sport, maybe two sports, then they probably would have done a lot better and had a lot more to offer. But overall, the game is okay. And honestly, I wish it was better in my opinion, just because I really like Rocket Power. It was a really fun cartoon. Uh, it's just this game, it, it doesn't really do it for me, but it's still cool to have it in the collection. And there you have it, everyone. Those are the four games that came in my four up box this month. Now you saw the values as I was going through and showing you footage. And here is the total value of every game that was in this box. But the financial value is not the only aspect. It's also, did I get something that I didn't already have? And sometimes mistakes are made. Sometimes you don't update your list in time. Uh, sometimes they miss something on your list, but VGM is always able to take care of it for you, which is awesome. But we got Mickey's Racing Adventure on Game Boy Color. Didn't have that, didn't have these three GameCube games. And I'm kind of a sucker for uh, games that are like this, like your Dave Miras, your Matt Hoffman, uh, your Tony Hawk games, all those. I really like these kind of games. I don't know why, they're fun. Uh, and then you can never go wrong with a Pac-Man game. And I mean, I loved the cartoon Rocket Power. Uh, so that's awesome that that's in the collection. And that's where a lot of the value comes from as well. Is it something that you enjoy? Even if it's not a great game to play, is it something cool, something you didn't see? And in this case, I've never seen any of these in person. Um, so it's cool that I have them in the collection now. Uh, but yeah. If you are interested in checking out VGM as well, go ahead and check out their website. I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description below. This video is not sponsored or anything like that. I have just been a longtime subscriber of VGM and they have a bunch of awesome people there. I can no longer say that I don't really know them personally because I see them at cons and stuff all the time and uh, I talk to Joe all the time and stuff, but uh, I am still an actively paying subscriber. Uh, hey Joe, how about, uh, uh, you know, uh, making me not have to be a paid subscriber anymore. How about just sponsor the channel? That'd be cool. Um, it definitely won't be biased in any of the videos. Um, but yeah, those are the games that I got in this month's box and I'm stoked for them. Hey, if you have ever played any of them, let me know down in those comments below. And remember, let me know, have, did you ever watch Rocket Power? Because I really like that show and now I gotta go and see if I can find it somewhere online and watch that show again. 
But if you liked today's video and you want to see another recent VGM video, then check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.